Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here again, at home, again, on a Sunday, again, late at night, again, trying to stay caught up, still. <laughs> but uh, there's no rest for the wicked, you know, you can sleep when you're dead. Anyway, this time of year, around the Midwest, we uh, we hear that S word a lot. We don't like hearing that S word, that's, that's just a terrible, dirty word, we get really tired of it. And uh, as soon as the word snow starts flying around, we all just get a little grumpy and edgy. Thankfully, this week is uh, Thanksgiving, so, you know, we can stuff ourselves into oblivion and, and put on that extra, you know, fluff to make it through winter like the hibernating Midwestern bears we are. More to the point. Um, this time of year, we get these calls on big fifth wheels for sunbirds and snowbirds and does it have the thermal panes? No. No, no RV has thermal panes. It's a terrible, terrible misconception in this business. And once again, it's something where the marketing teams have kind of uh, done this. And the dealers have followed suit uh, because it's easier to go with the flow than to fight it. I've never done well with that. I always seem to go against the grain. That's just who I am. Anyone who knows me is laughing right now because they know how true that is. I never do anything the easy way. Um, here's how RV windows work. Take everything you know about windows and throw that crap out that window. It, it doesn't apply. An RV is not a house. There, If you've noticed a recurring trend in a lot of these weekly-ish videos I put together, it's to help you understand what an RV is and isn't, and it's not a house. People might live in one, but that doesn't make it a house. A normal RV window has an R value of 0.78, not even one, less than one. So people think, oh, then I'll get the one with the thermal panes. And no, you won't. They don't exist in the RV business. You can get a dual pane, but it's not a thermal pane. It's not charged with an inert gas. It's not anything special. It's just two panes of glass. It isn't without benefit, but it doesn't even double the R value of that window. It gives you about 30% more. It's like 1.13 or something like that. It's like, it's just barely over one. It's, it doesn't even double it. So you, you literally, you get more R value out of an RV window by pulling the shade shut. That's why when you go to really hot climates, Florida, Arizona, California, wherever, Nobody's windows are ever open. They got those things blocked right off because that is the most efficient way to improve the thermal exchange right here. That's the best thing you can do. Pleated shades, roller shades, mini blinds, doesn't matter. Close that crap off. Keep the solar radiation out. You're also creating, I call it a poor man's thermal pain, but frankly, it's the smart RVer's thermal pain because you're actually creating an air pocket exchange that's very poor. You're creating an air buffer, which is one of the concepts of a thermal pane. It's not the exact same thing, but it works better than dual pane windows. Now, obviously, if you had dual panes and you pulled the shade shut, it would be better, but not remarkably so. And that's the thing is that dual pane windows are remarkably more expensive for almost no benefit, for very, very little benefit. Um, you will see less, not no, but less condensation inside the windows because there's a little bit of that, uh, again, barrier from uh, the beer can effect, basically. But, um, you know, it's just not the be-all, end-all, oh my God, amazing thing people think it is. Um, and I, I always, it's hard to explain this to people because they think, yeah, you're just trying to sell me the one you got in stock. So I thought I'd have this conversation when you're not on the phone with me, when I don't have a deal whose life is in jeopardy if you don't believe me. Um, so I want to ask you guys, why haven't you heard this conversation before? Um, again, the average place doesn't tell you about it because the marketing teams won, sort of like Carfax. Carfax won. They won the ultimate marketing war. If you come into my dealership and you want to purchase one of our used uh, trucks yeah, for a package deal, you say, show me the Carfax, man. I'm an educated buyer. I know what to do. That commercial told me. But if I do anything but go, yes, sir, I'm a jerk. You think I am a snake oil salesman. I am out to get you and your family. I'm going to screw you out of your paycheck. And you know it because I'm that guy because the fox said so. Well, <laughs> this is the exact same thing. 
if you say I want the thermal pains and I say anything but yes sir, well, uh, I, I'm the bad guy, I'm the jerk here. So I wanted to, to have an isolated conversation on the side. So why doesn't the average place have this conversation? Well, frankly, most people don't know. Most people in this business have no clue. They, they just don't. That's why I started doing these videos because it annoyed me that nobody had a clue. Um, you know, secondly, I mentioned before, this is a very expensive option. Most people in this business work on commission. A bigger unit has the potential to draw more income. So why not let you think what you want to think and put some food in my family's mouths? You know, we're talking a lot of bread here. Cheddar, kids. Um, I would rather earn your business the right way. It's it's not enough of a difference for me to, to, to lose sleep at night. I say this all, if you've ever talk to me uh, in the middle of a, a purchase or a deal. I tell people all the time, if I see you at the grocery store and you're buying lettuce, I don't want to have to duck down the dog food because I'm afraid to make eye contact with you. I don't want to be that guy. I want to walk right up to you and go, hey Jim, hey Karen, how's that fifth wheel treating you? I want to, I want to be right there. I want to be that guy that you know you can trust. And I, I know I'm not going to lose deals from honesty. You know, I know I make more than I lose from it. If you don't believe me, that's that's fine. That's your prerogative. But I know that enough of you are going to go out there and do your research that you're going to realize that we're a place you need to do business with. You know, we're willing to educate you on an investment of thousands of dollars. Let's be straight with one another. You're looking to invest thousands, potentially th tens of thousands of dollars. I'd like you to know that there's people who are willing to shoot you straight. I only know one way to shoot people and it's straight. I gave up trying to dance around the truth a long time ago and I'd rather just hit it head on. You know, like me, dislike me, at least you know I'm honest. At least you can respect me. So hopefully this has been uh, of use to you guys. And uh, you know, uh, again, you know that we're a place that you can do fair business with. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.